Hey travelers, welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Caitlin, and today we're back with the Sims 4 Legacy playthrough. Last time we worked on Carly's Scouts and we were able to finish it, but not without some challenges first. We also got her a new part time job as well, now that Scouts have wrapped up. And Seth has also aged up into the child life stage, so we'll see where that takes us today and maybe focus on his aspiration. Anyways, let's get started. Just giving a quick tour here, you may have noticed that the house is slightly different and the backyard is slightly bigger. I did move the trees in the back to be more to the side now, but for the house instead of three floors is now just two floors with the kids bedrooms upstairs so the boys rooms here with the bathroom i guess they all have on street bathrooms now and then carly's bedroom is here so she has the biggest upgrade to her room and she has a little balcony on the side here that she can lounge around in and we did get her a very small home gym there so that she could work out. And downstairs we have the parents' bedroom and the nursery all in one space. And there's a little porch area here for Caitlin to come out to attend to the chickens and I guess the greenhouse as well. And family room in the center with the children's playing area I guess in the, on the side here and we do have the kitchen with a proper dining area now and a porch area as well or it's been there but I did get a mixology table I did move the plants the berry plants into the greenhouse and I guess nothing else really changed Tom Max's maker stuff is here, playground equipment, and the treehouse. I guess not too much changed in the house, it's just bigger now. And we have more space. Tom Max is watching TV really loudly. And we did get a cat tree for the cat, so the cat has something to play with. <laughs> Since she's energized right now, Carly, I will have her... Um, how come she can't push to the limits? I think you need to push to the limits while energized. I, I guess I could put a speaker in here too. Oh yeah, with the house upgrade, I did kind of decimate our <laughs> amount of money that we have. We had 10,000 when we ended last time. We spent all that money, so hopefully we'll get enough money back before the bills come in was this seth never knows what's lurking in the dark darkness is nothing but a veil to hide the most gruesome and terrifying creatures of the night he feels like he could pop out at any moment and lately this man named a lad keeps calling does that mean he has a fear of feel confident outside at night from fear of fear of the dark Seth is sick and tired of letting possibility of monsters keeping him from going out at night. Nothing can stop him living his best nightlife. Wait. Is that not a fear? Feel confident outside at night. So he wants to go outside at night? Okay, I guess you can come play on your swing then. That's kind of odd that he's scared of the night, but he feels confident outside at night too. It does look like Carly need a sleep scouting aptitude makes future earning of skills a little bit easier top-notch infant and fear of fire Billy has low confidence <laughs> unhappy infant and high confidence for Seth I did say I did want to get a speaker in here didn't I do we have one I guess not we need to buy a speaker so she can listen to retro music as well. Not sure if this is the right investment at the moment, but that kind of spent the rest of our money. Let's have her listen to retro then. 
Or not you. Carly needs to listen to Retro. We need to work on her whims too so that she can get some reward points. She's confident now and not energized anymore. So I think we'll just have her... No, the default is not sleep there. Just sleep in your bed, please. Sleep. So she's taking... You have your own bathroom. Why are you using this one? I guess you wanted a bubble bath. <laughs> so is he still scared? One thing I also noticed is that Seth and Billy does not have this spellcaster thing. So does that mean they're not spellcasters? But they do have the weak bloodline trait. So is it a... Is it because they're children still? Not really sure. But let's have him go use the restroom and then he can come. What happened? Caitlin, no sleeping, spray the monster under their bed, I guess. I think that's the only reason why they wouldn't want to sleep on the bed. He's terrified. Aw, poor baby. He just went to sleep. <laughs> Alright, you can just go to sleep under the covers, and then after that, you can go eat something, and not from the dumpster, please. Wait, what happened to all of our food? Wait, did the move get rid of all of our food, too? There's nothing in the fridge? Lost all our food. <laughs> well, this move was a disaster. Um, cook something, then. Caitlin. What is this? Hello, hello. Or halo. <laughs> that actually looks pretty nice. It doesn't need any ingredients. Let's just make that. That's dessert, though. Let's make uh, something else that's re more like a real food. Did we really just lose all of our ingredients, too? Like, we can't make any of this stuff. Man, that means we need to get a delivery too. And it's 2.30 in the morning. So the only thing they can eat is that Halo Halo. And it doesn't look like there's any plants either for harvesting. <laughs> Man. I do need to order some food though. But we also don't have any more money. <laughs> Order grocery delivery. We need to buy something cheaper, I guess. Man. Yes, we'll get five of that, five of this, five of cheese. We'll get a couple eggs, I guess. And I'm already at 200. You guys are gonna have bread for the next couple of days until we can get more money in the house. <laughs> Maybe I'll just get two each then. We don't have money to buy five of each. And we do need some meat though. Meat is the same amount of money. Get two meats. Maybe I'll do that for now. And then hopefully we'll get some harvest in the morning. I think like it's five o'clock that they re they they grow for the next day. And we won't get this until in the morning. That's actually kind of cute. Here, put this there. I guess everyone will eat that now. <laughs> oh wait, we have groceries. Wait, come get your groceries. That's early, except delivery. They work at 3 a.m. No, do not go out there. What happened to sleeping in the bed? Sleep. You, come here. Unload the bag. Now we can cook something real. Very inspired. By what? From cooking. That makes sense. She likes cooking. Let's cook something then. Now we have more things to cook. I feel like they always eat meat pie. But that's like the easiest thing to make. <laughs> Minced pork noodles. About that. Let's make this. Make some noodles. Did they just all go to sleep? 
hopefully Caitlyn don't need sleep. Since Caitlyn is the only one that don't need sleep, we will have her actually come finish her knitting. Let's see. We can knit. Knit some rugs. Oh, wait. We can't knit that. Knit objects. Decorations. Oh, wait. They cost money. <laughs> oh, that's why we couldn't. We couldn't make any of them. All right, let's spend our last 30 simoleons on this thing. <laughs> Maybe we should check the calendar. Who's working tomorrow? They have Harvest Fest tomorrow. So maybe they won't be able to... Actually, I think they get paid on holidays. Hopefully we'll get some money back then. Did you just resume cooking first? You need to finish cooking first before knitting. Why are you doing that? Knit. Resume. Teal octopus. One other thing is I did get the for rent pack. Which just came out not that long ago. And I did try to make Carly's room a separate household unit. So that she can be her own household for now. So that she can accumulate some income. But that didn't work out very well, so we'll probably use that more when Harley becomes the heir. Or not heir, but becomes the um the main person. <laughs> that has a nightmare about a dog with limbs that stretch like a human. Seth is having a rough time. He's scared of the outside and then also had a nightmare that's kind of unfortunate tofu's running away again don't run away are you tense iro no recalling your first fire oh yeah he saw the fire didn't he where's the cat where he go oh no don't run away don't run away you cannot run away Give catnip treat. Maybe I should lock this. Lock for all pets. Where did you? Where did Tofu go? Oh, he's still here eating the chicken's food. I guess while you're out here, you can talk to these chicken as well, so that they're not gonna run away either. And I guess I can collect the eggs here. They have feed, so try not do that. And what about here? Let's harvest all. We need to replenish our fridge. We had like hundreds of those vegetables and they're all gone. Carly earned 82 simoleons from her job. It's nice. That's some money. <laughs> that means they do get paid on their, on the holidays. Which is nice. Do you... You do need to do homework. Let's have you do homework. And then maybe we can go to the park and maybe make some friends too. I think Billy, Billy's the only one with friends. Wait, what happened to all his friends? These aren't his friends. Did they all age up already? Man, that means you need new friends your age. I mean, I guess you can still be friends with them. It's just... We can have other friends as well now too. Fine. Why are you doing your homework out here? Like I must examine whatever's in the greenhouse. <laughs> I think for Tomax, I will probably have him buy for deals so that he can work on his fabrication. Billy has a loose tooth again. He always has a loose tooth. All right, go, go eat something. Someone's calling. Grace is calling. A question. Casual friend time with Jules Rico. Why not? Go for it. How do we get rid of the tooth? Wiggling the tooth and brushing his teeth. Pull out loose tooth. Let's see. Let's wiggle it. I think we didn't really wiggle it before. He's like, why did I wiggle it? It hurt even more. The kids don't have Harvest Fest activities to do. A peas gnome. I really actually don't know which one to give. But we should 
Look, a grand meal. We have no ingredients. Do we have to cook a grand meal? Yes, we do. Maybe we'll cook it a little bit later when they get their income for the day. Oh, I actually gave him the right one. That's good. Does Tom Max like? No, he likes to eat grand meal. There's so many of them. There's a Grim Reaper one. That's actually kind of cute. I don't know. Give coffee. This one, you can give the fruitcake. We meant to kick. do the fruitcake. Not sure if that's right, but we'll see. <laughs> that was not the right thing. Seth has social level 2. Oh, they're talking with each other. Watching TV and talking with each other. Oh, they finished watching their TV. Or maybe not. And the dog is like, <laughs> walk through. But I want to, I want to watch TV too. Oh, both of them are mad. <laughs> Let's repair with your magic. You know what? I completely forgot she had magic. Or I didn't completely forget, but she has the copy pasto thing. We can get one more flower. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough. Practice makes perfect. Let me duplicate that. Open. Where is the flower? Let's duplicate it. Magic. Spells. Copy pasto. Then we can make our grand meal. I think we need to copy pasto this too. Hopefully she doesn't get overloaded. <laughs> oh, not time for knitting. We can have you come back to that when people are all sleeping. Oh, he got loyalty report too. We have 600 now. Where do we get the extra, extra flower? Where did it go? Copied into household inventory. Wait, it's here. Oh, no, that's sugar. Put this back in the fridge. If it's in the household inventory, is it here? Well, it worked. Let's pull these out. There we go. You should have enough to make your grand meal. <laughs> All right, let's cook your grand meal. So we can have ham dinner. How about that? Don't nap there. Don't resume your teal octopus. We need to do harvest fest things first. Oh yeah, I think we also have new kitchen appliances. Maybe we can buy some of those. Like, all I'm thinking is about spending money. <laughs> Guess we can have him... Actually, he didn't register in scouts, did he? Join after school activity. You can do scouts. Why don't you two talk to each other? They look very much like twins. <laughs> Be thankful. Be thankful that you have a sibling. They make belief. Be thankful. Oh, don't push each other. What the hell? Billy may have been the one getting pranked by Seth, but he totally respects how funny it is. Like pranks, sure. Can you guys play together here? You guys can go play in the tent. How come everyone's difficult? Wait, Caitlin finished. Here. All to grand meal. Stop trying to do your octopus. Alright, once they have harvest fest, we will go to the park. Billy is going through a phase. He's having a bit of mean streak. It feels more nasty with other sims. And oh, Tomax has that. Something to ship on Plopsy. It's almost as if someone's controlling his life. He has another fear. He had a fear of death already. That's Void Critter. Equally powerful. <laughs> well, it's an early dinner. So, let's actually have them take a family trip. I don't think we've actually had a trip with all of them before. Let's do that. And we'll go to... San Sequoia to do this splash pad thing here. I think San Sequoia came with the Generations pack, maybe. And now we need to go to 
Gilbert Gardens here, and there is a park here. These are all residential. Is it the community center? Is there a park? I guess it's this one then. Let's go. So, everyone is here. Hopefully they have a lot of things. Oh, there's actually a gym here. Oh, where's the splash pad thing? That's what we were looking for while we were coming here. Did we come to the right place? I guess you guys can all play Spice Explorer together. Wait, is that a kid that you can be friends with? Can you be friends? Friendly and troll. Billy can be friends with her too. Well, there's a lot of kids here. And make some friends here. Friendly and troll. And you guys can come talk to them too. And is this a teen friend? Nope. Young adult. Young adult. Very energized. Energized workout. How do we get the push to limits? I thought it was possible. Are there any teens here? Adult? Any teens up here? Adult? Nope, no teens. Mm, they're all adults. No teen friends for Barley. You always have no friends. How do we meet teen friends? Alright, but we came here to play with the splash pad and I don't know where it is. <laughs> Maybe we came to the wrong place. Oh wait, no, it's over here. There's a splash pad here. Play in the water. So oh, you're the one that want to play in the water. Go here together. Get some sleep. <laughs> I guess. Firing. Did Caitlin just fly over here on her broom? Where's the kids? He's like, why do I have to walk all the way over here? You're the one that want to play on the splash pad. Confident. Fear conquered. Read the sight of relief Seth has overcome his fear. Wait, that's actually pretty good. Oh, the other kid is here too. Caitlin's sleeping. Omax is here. Let's see. Let's see them play in this splash pad. Play in the water. Stomp playfully on a splash pad. How do I stomp on it? It's just play in the water. Can you stomp? Are you stomping? How do I stomp on it? Click on the emitter and choose stomp playfully in the playful mood. I guess we're not in the playful mood. This is actually not easy. <laughs> That's pretty cute though, have them all play here. I guess it's not great playing water at night either. <laughs> it's already 10 p.m. But I guess we found where the splash pad is, so we can always come back here. And they're all sleepy, so I think we will head back home. It's just pretty cute that they have a family outing. Let's have them all go home. Go home. Since they are home now, let's have you go use the restroom. And then we'll have you go to sleep. Let's have you guys talk. Comfort about missing pet. Did Tofu really run away? Well, we can become best friends. Uh, discuss gourmet dish. Talk to them. Talk to them. Sing about Harvest Fest. Barley satisfaction points is only 2,000. We need like 4,000. Caitlin has 10,000. Caitlin can get all of these. Never weary, forever full. Never need to eat. Never need to sleep. We can get this one. Never need to sleep. Then we don't even need the needs potions no more. Let's try that. Never weary. Never needs to sleep. Redeem this. 10,000. All done. Does that mean her energy won't go down anymore? Won't go up either? Did I make a mistake or not? <laughs> so what happens if I try to sleep? It does look like it goes up. Harvest Fest was successful. Very nice. 
Wait, I did see some satisfaction points come in. So, are they... Oh, they did gain some. You just need 240 more. Discuss fear of death. I think you can come discuss it with... Who is still awake? Can you talk to her then? Is he deep thoughts? Discuss fears. Alright, let's try that. Maybe that'll help him confront his fears. They're not really discussing anything, are they? Discuss fears. You wanted to talk to her about fears. Good reputation. They became good friends. He's like, nope. I'm tired of listening to you. <laughs> Harley has work in an hour. Did we we didn't get any money from Caitlin. That's fine. Oh, I guess she didn't have work yesterday. The Tomax also didn't get any money, did he? Yes, not. They all have school. Harley's like, I don't know what to do with myself. She's very energized. Can you go push to limit endurance run? How do I push to limits? Energize box. Push to limits by working out twice in a row without stopping or leaving the energized emotion. So we need to do it two at a time. I guess you can go to work first. And then I guess you need to go to school. They all need these moodlets. Tell three stories from a sleeping bag. Oh yeah, yeah, you got new friends. So let's invite them over. Or not invite them over, but at least put them in the club. Harley's off to work. So we met Angel and Cam. I guess Seth can be in there too. Everyone can be friends. <laughs> I think I will have you do your knitting, finally. I don't have time to do some knitting. Knitting, knit, zoom, your teal octopus, and you did sell this, so ship. Oh no, what? Grim is here again? Why are you always here, Grim? I guess the hen is going. That means we won't have any eggs no more. Man. Or or hen. We did, really didn't take very good care of them. <laughs> Aww. Outdoor studying. The teacher announces some outdoor study time to get the kids out of the classroom. Should she take her studying outside? Hang out with her friends. Let's have her study outside. She made the productive, non-frivolous choice and got an extra half hour study time in. Excellent. This will definitely make a difference come college application time. Did you? Knit. Resume. You've been trying to knit this octopus for like a really long time. Airplane origami. Billy has mastered the art of a paper airplane and can't wait to try his original supersonic design. Let's throw it. <laughs> Performance loss small. How come you cannot knit? Knit your teal octopus. Stop trying to eat something. You don't need to eat anything right now. What happened to all the other books? How come you only have five books left? Oh, Caitlin has work. I guess she won't be able to finish her knitting by then. It'll work at noon. Maybe she'll finish her knitting. Let's have you list this on Plopsy. I guess when you get back. And everyone is out of the house. Work hard. Look at that. The whole house. Crazy fan. Caitlin's newfound culinary fame does have its downside. Kitchen staff prepares for service. A raving... Amber Singh causes commo commotions and demanding an autograph. What should we do? Sign or kick out? Let's kick the fan out. Kitchen staff all heave a sigh of relief. 
and thank Caitlin for helping them get back to work. Someone want to buy the poof too. Very nice. Carly and enjoy the weekend knowing she's one of the top students. Very nice. Billy's back from school. Friday nights are great for turning B's into A's. <laughs> and Seth has a C. Fine. Why is, why is Tom Max a gnome? But it looks like he got promoted, even though he wasn't really working. Why are you in a gnome suit? <laughs> Just go to sleep. No, not here. Not here. Sleep in the bed. You'll be more comfortable there. Enraged. Having mood swing. Man. You need to go to sleep too. Everyone needs to go to sleep. Maybe we'll have her take a shower before she goes to sleep. Maybe that'll work. She's like, I hate this. He's sleeping too. Okay, sleep. Everyone, just go to sleep. Oh, except him. You can go take a bath. And eat, and then you can do your homework. Do homework. Do you have... No, he does not have any projects to do. But we can work on his scouts. Just hopefully there's no fire. I like how he's completing all his whims just by going to making his needs all better. Oh, Caitlin's back. Earned a raise. Wait, she can earn raise even though she's top of the career already? Well, that's nice. Midlife crisis has passed. Nice. <laughs> we didn't really do anything. We built that tree house and that was mostly it. Why are you sleeping in a sleeping bag? You have a nice bed upstairs and you must sleep on the sleeping bag. This kid is like wolfing down all of this. Okay, kid, come here. You can clean this up. Who's this? Wait, that's a teen. You can you you can do friendly intro. Don't go to sleep. Wake up. There's a teen friend. Teen friend. What are you doing? Talk to the teen friend. Hello? Friendly intro. She's like, I just want to sleep, dude. This is not a good time. <laughs> Ask about career, I guess. Complain about thunderstorm. Mario is a high school student. Complain about problems. <laughs> Imagine the first thing you do when you meet someone is to complain about problems to them. <laughs> Aw, she liked the dog. I guess Carly didn't invite him in, but she's sleeping now. But I think I will end this episode here. So today, we mainly had our harvest fest, which went pretty well for the parents. Carly apparently did not like it. And we were also able to take a family trip to the community center, which actually had a lot of stuff that everyone can do. And we tried to use the splash pad, but it didn't work yet. We'll probably have to attempt that again next time. And we just worked on everyone's skills. And Harley finally met her first teen friend. And Billy and Seth met some friends who are their age so maybe they can have hang out at home next time anyways thank you for stopping by and i'll see you guys next time bye